you know, I was sitting here thinking how, like, so I was watching this movie on my phone just now, um, The Misfits, uh, the sellout Nick Cannon, uh, and Pierce Brosnan. Uh, I was just sitting there in my bed watching the movie, and I and I got I was like, man, I, I really didn't eat a whole lot today. I said, like, what did I eat today? I just got hungry, so I got up, out of you know, got up and went to Baskin Robbins and got like two scoops of ice cream, vanilla ice cream. I keep it traditional. I did all that, all that sprinkles and all the toppings and shit. Now just give me reg two scoops of regular ice cream on a on a on a regular. But on a regular fucking cone, right? So when I got back to my house, um, which you know, which I'm sitting in my car right now, and I was just thinking, and the, and, in the, and the Lord had me thinking in the spirit, like, you know, what is about snacking, like eating, like you understand, like you know, people love to eat and i remember when i used to be like all the time eating all the time like always just eating out of term eating when i wasn't hungry i had a huge gluttonous spirit on me and i had to pray that off um you know uh it's just not it's 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 a it's a wicked spirit but this society esau he promotes that he promotes eating all the time you're bored eat once uh, you, 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 are you not hungry? Eat. You thirsty? Eat. You know, it's eat, 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 eat. And I saw on Facebook the other day where this girl posted, she said, all my money goes on food. So I spend all my money on food. Like, like I just, cause I love to eat. And it's like, you know, and it just had me, you know, thinking you know, like the Lord put it on my spirit to, to you know, to be like, um, uh, to remember the Jacob's trouble. Because in Jacob's trouble, before, part of Jacob's trouble is, is a famine, which is, which, which, which means lack of food. So now if you think about how people act when they got food, right? How, how, you know, how niggas be dancing and shit dancing Ooh, i'm eating yeah i'm eating got some food i'm some eating i'm happy i'm hot you know because they're eating good food they're eating good think about you know how people gonna react the kind of chaos that's gonna ensue in in in, in the in in the world in your neighborhood your own neighborhood when there is nothing to eat I need you to let that sink in. Like, there's nothing to eat. Everybody's hungry. Nobody got nothing to eat. And it's it, you're going to see people get sliced up ch and, and chopped up. Put Human bodies going to be put over fires be, just for the lack of bread. Because the worst, one of the worst ways to die is starving to death. So mothers will will eat their own children just to keep from starving to death for lack of bread. They they they're, they're hungry. Their kids are hungry. So if I have to, if I had a choice to feed, so in that day, mother mothers and parents are gonna are gonna think they're gonna look out. They're gonna try to feed their kids, but in trying, but in, in their attempts to try to feed their kids, they themselves are gonna be hungry. They themselves will be famished. So now, it, so then it's going to become a situation of, okay, whether, whether, it, whether to feed my kid or feed me. And you know what? A lot of them are going to choose to feed themselves because it's easier to feed themselves than it's going to be, than it would, than it, than it will be to feed a child. So, well, how are they going to feed themselves if there is no food? Well, their their potential dinner is asking them for food. They, their own they, these people are gonna put their own children on the dinner menu. Their own kids gonna be on the menu. 
It's going to be bad out here, man. It's going to be, it's going to get bad out here. Now, you know, it's, it's going to get bad and you can already see, listen, the most high don't deal like, oh man, you should, you know, uh, it's, it's just going to, it's going to, you're going to wake up tomorrow morning or you're going to wake up one day and then boom, the famine going to be here. No, nah, it don't work like that. That's not how the, that's how the most high, that's not how your how it works. He works in gradualism. So what you're seeing right now is a uh, few things, uh, items on the shelves ain't there no more. The shelves ain't stocked like they used to. They, you can still get, right now it's all good. You can still get food. You go anywhere, you can eat all day all, until your heart is content. But you go to the grocery store, same deal. But you look at the aisles, there's some items that are not missed, that, that just ain't there, that are missing. They're not there. And the store hadn't had them for a few weeks now. And as soon as they come in, people buy them up so because they don't know when they're going to get that item again. So they, they buy all that they got. It's going to get bad. It's going to get real bad. But you see, only those whom the Lord, who, who, whom the Lord preps for what's to come is going to survive it. See, everybody going to be there gonna be people homeless. Everybody with the, the the rich are gonna get ransacked because for, because everybody gonna be like, yo, this white neighborhood, right? You know how right now Jake stay away from white neighborhood. We know nobody fuck with white people. We just don't have it in us to attack white people at all because the scripture says, and because the law says in the scripture, he says because the law says vengeance is mine, saith the Lord, aka don't meaning don't touch them. I got them. They they belong to me. Because otherwise, the Most High knows. Lord knows we we been we been unfuck white people up a long time ago, but we didn't we don't do that because we don't have that spirit. It's not on us to do that. It's not on us to work that way. So we don't touch white folks. Just like the uh, like like he put the spirit. The Lord put the um on Cain. He said, "I put a mark on Cain. Let's let no man touch him." Let he's Cain was like Cain was worried that he go out into the world and everybody would kill him. And the Lord said, "Nah, you move about the world, ain't nobody gonna touch you." I'm gonna make sure of it. And that mark, whatever it is, is that whatever it is that Yahweh put on Cain, ha he has on Cain's descendants, the so called white people of today, so called white race. The scripture says they are not in trouble like most men. They're not. If I go back into the hood and I bring a white person with me back in the hood, guess who? She's safer than I am. The white dude that I go with, or if it's a dude, if I, he's safer than me. A nigga put a gun in my face before they put in one in his. But in that day, in Jacob, during Jacob's trouble, it's gonna be like all better off. With the the neighbor, the white neighborhood that Jake once did not rob from, that we didn't go even go into, much less to steal from. We didn't even go in there. We wouldn't dare go into a white neighborhood. We wouldn't dare steal from a white person. Well, in that day, we will. It's going to be mostly, it's going to be, if not all their houses, it's going to be all their houses getting ransacked. I mean, they got money, so they got to have food. Besides, and they white, shit. Of course they got food. So let's go run up in there, kill all of the white people that's in there, that's, that's in that house, and then we're going to take what they got. That's what's going on. That's what's coming. And, and white people are going to do the same thing to black people and Asians and spy, everybody, the whole, all the nations, all the races will in, in, in as, 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 as prophesied in scripture, we are going to, we are, it, it's going to be civil unrest. There will be civil unrest. Oh, and it's going to all these vaccines is leading to the end, the end of not just the world. Nah. It's leading to the end of civilization because civilization got to break down first before the world can come to an end. Once civilization is gone, that means civilization, meaning civil, the root word being civil, meaning decorum, having some degree of decorum where people have a degree of decorum right now. There is civilization. We we are civil right now. In other words, I can go into a, a, into a store and I know how to act. I go into somebody's house. I know how to, I know how to conduct myself. But in that day, nobody's going to conduct themselves. The spirit 
it's going to come over. The, the Lord going to pour his spirit out on all flesh. He said in that. And, and people going to be like, yo, tuh, I don't give a fuck. It's dog eat dog. You could be my mama, my sister, my brother. I got to get mine. Everybody, every, it's going to be every man for himself. Even kids going to be left out here on their own. This is this. We, we are coming to the end of the world, man. The scriptures, we've seen the Bible prophets that we've seen the scriptures. Biblical prophecy is playing out right before our eyes, like legit right before our eyes. It's going to get so it's going to get really bad. The lack of bread that, that there will be in these streets is going to be un fucking real. Niggas gonna be getting their heads chopped off for a honey bun. Watch, you, I'm, you, you it sounds funny. It, yeah, I know. But you watch. When you see that shit happen, you ain't gonna laugh. You gonna run. And you gonna run. Because it's gonna get too real out here. Jacob's trouble is on the way. And I tell you, the elect and the hopeful elect, we, we, we can't wait for it. I can't wait for it. I don't desire the day of the Lord. I say, because the scripture says, woe unto them, woe unto he who desires the day of the Lord, because the day of the Lord is not, it's, 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 it's hard. It's, 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 it's bad. Now, I, I can't, I don't want to, I don't, I, I can't think of the scripture right now, but, and I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to butcher it. But it's it's AK. In other words, it's, it's not a good day. It's not a good time. To it's not a good thing to desire. It's all because it's going to be all bad. There will be zero, no good in the world in that in that time. No good in the earth in that time. At that time, literally everybody will be killing them. Will be killing each other, and a lot of people will be killing themselves because they know that if they don't kill themselves, if they don't take their own lives, then hunger is going to do it for them. Dying of hunger is a death that you you really uh, it's a slow death. It's slow and long. When hunger takes you, it's slow and it's long. It lasts a long time. Every day you wake up. You get sleep, you come, you wake up hungry. You go about your day hungry. In that day, it's going to be like that. Every day is going to be like that with, for everybody, even the elect. But the lit, but the scripture says, because we got to be tried too. But the Lord says that e that in that day, the elect shall be saved. Uh, uh, the elect shall be saved out of it. Oh man, the. Oh man, I can't think of that scripture. I'm, I don't want to butcher it, man. I'm I'm not. I just I just did this video on a whim. I didn't prepare anything, any scriptures or nothing like that. Um, cause I'm kind of winging it, but it's 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 just saying that you know. I'm just saying that this is not going to be a good time. It, this right now already ain't a good time. I could feel, I could feel a lot of things missing. Kind of, you know, and I'm telling you that you think empty shelves in the grocery stores right now is bad. Fuck, the shelves ain't empty, man. These shelves ain't empty. They got food on them. Oh, they got food. You can find. I went tonight and got a, and got a, a bunch of items, and I found everything I needed just fine. That's how we know. That's how you know we're not in Jacob's trouble. So those those Israelites who say those in the Israelites, those false, those fake prophet Israelites who say that we are in Jacob's trouble or there won't be Jacob's trouble or we passed Jacob's trouble. It, it already happened. You're an idiot and the Lord ain't dealing with you. You're a fool. The, the, the men of Great Millstone, they teach the prophets and elders of, 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 of Great Millstone teach us the truth in the scriptures. And now those are the brothers I learned from. And you can see we are not in Jacob's trouble. 
It's not chaotic out here. Nobody's running up in your house, robbing you. No, there is no lack of bread. Yeah, maybe they, maybe the store is out of no. The store ain't, ain't is not. There's not a lack of bread. There's just the store just out of it today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have some for you. It's getting worse. The Lord works in gradualism. The Most High does not just be like boom on your ass. Deal with it. No. Shit don't work like that. It happens little by little. You have to remember the Lord has said he's long suffering. That means he can make the shit stretch out for a long time. I wish he would just be like, bam, there it is. Jacob's trouble. Now deal with it so that we can get it over with because I'm ready for the kingdom. But. But we got to go through what we got to go through first to get there before we can get there. Fortunately for us. The elect, the hopeful elect, the elect and those who hope to be the elect, um, the Lord said that he's going to save us out of it. So during Jacob's trouble and the famine, we're going to eat. When there's no, excuse me, when there's no food to eat, there's no food to eat out here in these streets, we're going to eat. The Lord going to supply us with food, just like he did for, the, for, for our ancestors, just like he did for us, who we are our ancestors, just like he did for us. In, in the wilderness when he uh when he fed us manna. How are we gonna eat out there in the wilderness? We in the wilderness. The wilderness ain't nobody out there. Ain't nothing out there. Ain't nothing to eat out there, but yet we still had full bellies every single day. The Lord because because that was the most high providing Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah was providing for us even in the wilderness. They was providing for us. They was feeding us. The Lord was taking care of us. Of his bride, making sure that we had everything we needed and we didn't go without the things that we needed. He said, Surely the Lord knows you need all knows that you need these things, so you're not gonna go without them. We he knows that we need food. We in that day, we are not gonna go without food. We're gonna have food. It might be, it ain't gonna, and I can tell you this, it ain't gonna be no pork and or, or no no ham sandwiches or nothing like that. It's not gonna be nothing unlawful. So in, in that day, you you know, if in that day when I'm hungry and somebody come across me and say, hey, you know, I, I if somebody come across you and be like, hey man, I got a ham, I got a ham sandwich here, and it's got you know ham, come on ham, that's pork, you know you can't eat that, that's an unlawful sandwich. Now you know, oh God must have sent me this sandwich. No, the Most High is, will never break His own law. Pork is an unclean meat. He tells you, do not eat it under no circumstances. That the most high, if he, if that happens to you, that you somebody come across you in that in the day of, in the day in the hour of temptation where there's no food out here and everybody's killing each other over food, and somebody brings you a ham sandwich, the Lord did not send you that sandwich. Or maybe he did as a test to see if you'll eat it, to see if your soul, to see if your if your physical, if you if if your physical your dire straits, if your desperate to see that even to see if even in. He wants to, maybe the Lord will be testing you to see in your desperation, would you disobey him even in, would you obey him even in your desperation, even when you desperate and you ain't got nothing else to eat, would you obey him? So he'll send you a ham sandwich. He'll send you a sandwich with pork on it. And be like, let me see what he going to do. Where he'll send you, uh, send, send you some, give you some catfish. You be, I mean, you are legit straight starving. You ain't had nothing to eat in weeks. Not a not an ounce of food in weeks, and here but yet here come out the, out the, out of nowhere. There's a ham sandwich right here, or it's a plate of catfish right here. Would you gonna eat it? That's a test. You see that? If that happens to you, that's a test. You're being tested. The Most High is testing you. Don't fail that test. Because when you because if you pass it, there's gonna be a feast. Trust me, the Lord know how to take care of his own. Despite what's going what's, what's going to be going on around you, the chaos that's going to be ensuing around you, you're going to be all right. I just wanted to bring this word out, man. It, it just it was just really on me to do it. Um, yeah, well, you know, I just I just hope that this lesson, like. This little quick 
20 minute video bless somebody was edifying to somebody or to all those who hear it actually i hope that it edified everybody who hears it because in that day the day is coming jacob's trouble is coming it's on its way world war three is on its way there will be a war on american soil this it's never happened before the only war that was on American soil was the Civil War. It was a war that, that Americans, so-called, we fought it ourselves. We was fighting each other. We was fighting our government on our own land. There was no foreign entities here killing us. No, it was us doing it to us. This next war will be the end-all, be-all of all wars. This is going to end it all. But before we get there, if we got to get past the famine, because when people are hungry, they will do anything. They will, they will, they will, they will kill anybody. They have to for food just to get a, a, a. I mean, when you ain't got no food or no water, you do anything for a drop of water. When you're thirsty, you do anything for what for a drop of water. Cause truth be told, you can go without food a hell of a lot longer. You can than you than you can about without water. Your body can live. You can survive without food a whole lot longer than you can without water. A whole lot longer. Try going on a fast, a straight dry fast, and like 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 Yahweh Shai did. For 40 days. For 40 days. No food, no water. You can't do it. See, the, the Yahweh Shai, and that day, the Yahweh Shai had the spirit on him to do that fast. I bet, I think someone else did it too. I, I want to say Elisha. Um, I don't know who exactly. I'm, 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 but others in the scriptures have fasted for long periods too. But the, the spirit of Yahweh was on them to do that. You try doing it now without the spirit of Yahweh, you're going to die. That's why we need to pray. We need to pray every day and ask Yahweh for, for guidance, for protection, and for him to provide for us. If you uh, look, and you know, Jake, but Jake, Jake is rebellious, man. Jake don't give a fuck. You know, Jake just don't care. And so, you know, so, so that's why that's who, that's who Jacob's trouble is really for. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I just hope this lesson edified all those who all those who hear who heard it who, who's listening right now. So, um, yeah, shalom.